Um, I think it's mixed for myself. I think it was inevitable. I think once you're at the top table and you're dining there for so long, at some stage you're going to take the Wagyu beef out and you're going to have a little try of it. They've gone in, they've made their stance. Um, for me, it's a little bit like when I stopped playing in the Premier League. The first year you're out of it and you notice the new badges on the arms, the new ball, and you have a little gulp and you think, I'm not there anymore. And then as the years go by, it just becomes a normality. I think the same with Manchester City. It's one of them where I didn't think they were going to go to these levels to, to buy a player. I think he's a special talent, Jack Grealish. I think he'll bring a lot to Manchester City. I think he'll improve his performance. But I just think it was inevitable, you know. But for me, the team that I supported as a kid and the team that I played for, it's, it's just becoming more distant. Every time, I love the record. I really? love the, How do you mean more distant? Well, every time Manchester City break a record, they go to another sphere. And it's like 100 points, uh, uh, retaining the Premier League title winning the treble, or, or can we call it the quadruple now they've said that the uh, Community Shield's a major trophy. Quadruple. They didn't like it when we won that, so they just said that the, the Community Shield didn't care. Um, but it's just one of them where the, the club is evolving so much, it's improving so much. In a good way? It, well, it's just evolving. With, for Jack it's keeping up with the Joneses. It's keeping up with the Joneses because you look at other clubs spending that kind of money. Manchester United, 89 million for Pogba five years ago, yeah. is arguably a bigger figure than it is to 100 million is today. Um, even like, listen, Atletico Madrid spent 113 million pounds on Jao Cancelo. So, uh, Jao, um, Felix. Felix. So, it's not it, the, the, the pool of clubs spending big, big money. And we're not we're near the 222 million that was paid for at Neymar. So we're still way below that. But we have broke the British transfer record. For me, it's a record that I didn't want to see us breaking. But it's a record that I think was inevitably going to be broken. But is, is City still the club for the man in the street? The guy who's grown up supporting Manchester I City. Think, I mean, Trevor, put it this way. If Manchester City play PSG in the final of the Champions League, yeah. that's money bags against money bags, isn't it? Yeah, but the same could be said about Chelsea. The same could be said about Manchester United. The same could be said about um, Barcelona, Real Madrid. A lot of these football clubs that are funded by very, very wealthy billionaires. So for everyone to all of a sudden go gasp and say, oh, Manchester City. For me, personally, because I've got a connection with the football club, it's a, it's a little bit of a sad one. But... I think it's inevitable and nobody should be pointing the finger at Manchester. Because, Manchester you, went because as far, you went as far as saying, Trevor, recently that if they spend more than... It's a badge, it's like a badge of honour that they don't spend more than 50 million. 100%. But you look at it now and, you know, we spoke about the figures. Everyone's talking about a billion. It's 950 million. Manchester City have re regained 350 million from sales. So over the five-year period, and not only that, they've had to let go of three iconic players. David Silva, Vincent Company, and Gunnar Aguero. In that time, he I'm had an age. He had an age. He had an age. He age of 110. He had an aged, aged team which needed um, freshening up, and I think if you if you look at the figures that they've spent, they spent about 600, 500, 550 million over a five-year period. It's 120 20 million pounds per year. That is that is not excessive for a Premier League club that are winning the Premier League five times out of the last ten years. The spend pattern of Man City eclipses everybody else quite significantly. But they also regain a lot of money back the, the, from so sales. everyone else, Trevor. If you look, if you look at the dynamics of what's been spent, Man City spent nine hundred and fifty-nine million. They recovered three hundred and ten. So their net spend is six hundred and forty million quid. You add Uni loans to that as well. United have spent seven hundred million. United have spent seven hundred million and recovered two hundred. So their net spend is five hundred. Chelsea have spent nine hundred million and their recovery is six hundred million quid. So they spent three hundred million. Man City have spent more money than anybody else because Miles they've got a great business model. Well, not really, because with the greatest respect in the world, because they like to circumnavigate rules. They get well, found no, guilty of things, I mean, that's quite and then they find their way around it. They've not been found guilty of anything. Well, what been. I would say, though, well, is, have, what I would say is, have. if you look at the business model, they've won the Premier League five times in the last they 10 years. The Premier League. I think that's good value. If they're spending £120 million a year, and how much do they get to Premier League for Re Premier League to stay in the Premier you, League? You can, you can, and then prize money on top of that. You can, and then they've generated you the can, sixth most that. amount yeah, of they, money they, uh, any club in the world has And their turnover has, has wrapped over. up, yeah, and their turnover has wrapped up to 450, 500 million quid. But we're talking about the principles of the football club and the arguments that you've previously advanced. And the arguments that you've been robust on is that Man City don't do certain things. They most certainly they, Trevor, do Trevor, Trevor, they most they do certainly now. have been found guilty of things. They've been found guilty of breaching financial fair play in 2013 and been sanctioned for it. They were then sanctioned again for breach of it, which UEFA were happy with, and they somehow managed to convince the Court of Arbitration of Sport that they weren't guilty of it. They're now going to come round again, and hopefully the Premier League are going to do their job 
and do what's right and proper and sanction Man City because in my mind it's undoubtable that they have found ways to obviate financial fair play whether that's the allegations that were made about them about the misappropriation of funds from Sheikh Mansour rather than Etihad Airlines we can get into the peculiarities of that but the bottom line is is that Man City are the biggest spending club over the last five years so they have bought the Premier League now. But what about when they won the won the league before the that, that last five but years? We're, but we're talking about the last five years. I'm, I'm glad it's not down to you. At, at, by the way, as well. Listen, I think the biggest <laughs> thing for me is what's down to me. Well, it's not, not down to your opinion whether Manchester City are guilty or they get they, they get cleared. Yeah. But what I would say is they didn't get cleared. They've got the Premier League charges to face next. What they got was a burden of proof for the Court of Arbitration. Sport. It was say, different than UEFA's. I feel one, fa- of, the one, of the, one of the 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 they cast- bust the bank for Grealish. Yeah, yeah. they did. But I think and, one you, of the, and you said no, I'm comfortable with the way the, the way they do the business. 50, 60 million. But that's about as far as we go. But I've just said. That, that doesn't sit well with me because I've got emotional attachments to the football club. But on the on the other hand, really, I should be proud of Manchester City being able to afford a player for 100 million because they're making so much money. They've gone from outside the top 20 to the sixth wealthiest club in the world. And actually, that could be taken down to the fourth wealthiest club because of the state of Real Madrid and Barcelona. I would expect them to fall away a little bit. So the fourth wealthiest club over a what, 10, 15 year period. But that's because Mansour just decided to land at City. The, the, one of the other reasons why I feel they've gone in for Jack Grealish is because the financial fair play, uh, which UEFA have in place, um, the restraints have been eased a little bit. And I think if you're going to get a player that you've probably wanted for a while and you have to play over the odds because he is an English player and there's a premium involved, I think make hay when the sun shines be, because that's what I think be they've done. You're right and you're wrong. Right? You're right in the fact that the financial fair play has been relaxed to accommodate Man City and to accommodate all the clubs in the Premier League all with, the, clubs, with yeah. loss of COVID, with COVID losses, which is right and proper. Yeah. But the reality is they put Jack Grealish on a six-year playing contract, which means he depreciates at £16 million a year, and they can absorb that easily by having a few more rounds in the Champions League or, or having a few more commercial deals that will easily be achieved by Man City because they're punching at a very high level. Yeah. So the transactions that they're doing, they will be able to sign Harry Kane and they'll be able to sign... Jack Grealish and spend 250 million quid, put them both on five year contracts or f- four for Harry and six for um, for Jack and average out a million and five and depreciate those players at 50 million pound a year and absorb that 50 million pound losses by the increased revenue opportunities that the so players So it's a good bring. business model. So it's, it, it can be done. It can Is it be, a good business it, it can model? be done. But the idea that Man City haven't operated in a certain way, haven't bought the opportunity, aren't driving the bar up now. Does it need to be an English club paying £100 million for Jack Grealish? Does it need to be done? Do we have to have every single time a top player comes out that the indexing gets done to Man City? I don't think that's a badge of honour. I think that tells you that you're a bought and played for a football club. On the pitch, are you a beautiful team to watch? Yes. Undeniably. But this idea that somehow they were forced for good, somehow this idea that the the reasons why financial fair play was brought in, the reason why the European Super League was an ugly transition that may need to happen is because people cannot stop the force of the Qataris and the Emiratis that have this inordinate amount of money that will find their way around every obstacle. I don't like your obstacle. tone there. What, what about why we're not My talking about Abramovich? Matter of fact. Because the Abramovich has done exactly the same, but and all you're of right. a sudden... And you're right. So bring so, them into so the conversation. I'll bring, I'll bring, don't I'll, single I'll, out... I'll, I'll bring Abramovich in as well. Owned club. Jim White. And Simon Jordan, Monday to Thursday morning, 10 till 1. On AM, on DAB, via the TalkSport app and on your smart speaker. TalkSport.